Hello and welcome to Auten Math. In this edition of Auten Math, we're going to continue with chapter 1.6 on paragraph proofs, including some of the content that we learned in the prior section on midpoints and uh, midpoints and bisection and trisection of angles. First question, there are three questions. First one uh, says that ray AC bisects angle BAD and AC uh, bisects, I'm sorry, uh, AE bisects DAF. So again, AC, ray AC bisects angle BAD and ray AE bisects angle DAF. By just taking a look at the diagram, I can assume that BAF is a straight angle. So I know that uh, 2x plus 2y, so BAC I designate as x and CAD I designate as x, DAE as y and EAF, angle EAF I designate as y. I know that 2x plus 2y is equal to 180 degrees. And if I divide both sides by 2, I know that x plus y is equal to 90 degrees. So I know that angle CAE is also equal to 90 degrees. And by definition, if an angle is equal to 90 degrees, it is a right angle. In the second question, we are asked to prove the measure of angle 1 uh, that is equal to the measure of angle J plus the measure of angle H. So I know that uh, in a triangle, all the angles of a triangle add up to 180 degrees. And now this is, now we're starting with paragraphs, paragraph proofs. So I'm going to start by making the statement as a paragraph proof, but I'm going to do this verbally. That the measure of angle J, angle H, and angle JKH is equal to 180 degrees because the sum of the measures of all the angles in a triangle equal 180 degrees. I know also that uh, the measure of angle 1 plus the measure of angle JKH is 180 degrees but because I can tell by looking at the diagram that JKM, angle JKM, is a straight angle or is 180 degrees. Well, I know that if JKH plus angle 1 is equal to 180 degrees and JKH plus angle J and angle H is equal to 180 degrees, by substitution, I know that angle 1 is going to be equal to angle J plus angle H. And in the last question, using the same diagram, we're asked to prove that the measure of angle J is going to be less than the measure of angle 1. So again, we start as a paragraph proof uh, and just stating what we're trying to prove and then making a comment about what we can see or what's given in the diagram. If the measure of angle J plus the measure of angle H is equal to the measure of angle 1, which is what we proved earlier, then the measure of angle 1 must be greater than either measure of angle J or H. So I know that from the prior slide, we showed that the measure of angle J and angle H is equal to the measure of angle 1. So I know that if J, angle J, plus angle H is equal to angle 1, I know that angle 1 must be greater than either angle J or angle H.